So welcome so, back, guys. Uh, um, we're gonna be casting Strife for Admirable coming right up. Is the winner's final. Dog mm -hmm. just got knocked out. Oh, that's uh, so sad. You got Kamaz out of your win, <laughs> right? Yeah. But okay. he didn't come here to play Hearthstone anyway. Yeah, exactly. Right. He came here for the, for the fun. Good times. Good times. Yeah. We'll go out tonight. Probably, probably, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's going to take a little while. We're not quite done yet. We've got, like, the other arena matches, plus some special surprise Ooh. at the end. Yeah, you, you might be able to do well in that event. Um, surprises. You might have been completely outclassed in the first phase, but maybe the second phase of day one will <laughs> not do well. Not Jeff Arena. All right, so this is the winner's final. So whoever yes. wins this gets 5,000 Amaz points. Well, second place still gets 4K. That's right. Like, wow, that's a lot. So Jeez. like, there's a ton of points to be like up for grabs here. So it's really no big deal if you don't, you know, win the first place. The only thing is, Strife Crow did not pay a penny uh, to get there. He did not buy the advantage, right? Admirable paid one case Kamaz points or Amaz points to get there. So no matter what, if Admirable wins and Strife Crow loses, they're tied for first. Because uh, Admirable know. paid a thousand. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Like in, in terms of wins, yeah. uh, the thing is, Strife Crow's hand is one of the worst that I've seen in this entire event and beyond. Oh even Admirable's hand is insane. Like, his deck is insane yeah, though. What like the his heck? deck just curves well, right? Yeah, this is this is looking really bad. The thing is, like with Arena, if you miss a drop, you usually just lose the game, and especially with the deck like like as well built as Admirable's, it's insane. Like he he has like almost a constructed deck. Like people were running Giblins and Aggro Shaman, and it's not really not that bad in the uh, in Aggro. Yeah, Hunter. one of the things too is that people in like people who play Arena Hunter usually mess up. I feel like there was a recent post by some kind of Arena experienced player who casually has a really high average with Hunter, and oh, what he said. Uh, oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> that that is a good upside for Strike Pro, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like usually people play not aggressively enough. They draft for value. You don't play for value as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you just don't. Otherwise, your hero power is like useless, and the yeah. only value card you ever have is Savannah Hyman. And, like, you yeah, have to, you have to get lucky and get right, the right. Yeah. as a rare, which is really uncommon. So I mean, people are learning to draft now. Admirable still has a ton of damage, which just goes to show that you don't need the cards, right? Like you do not need card advantage to win as hunter. This is ridiculous. You just need to pound them in the face repeatedly <laughs> with minions and weapons. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, that's a good hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is uh, this is just. That's a more good play. That's a more. I mean, I don't think Adam Boy ever makes any trades for the rest of the game. With yeah. a quick shot in hand, he can just, like, that's it. You just you just go for he it. He hasn't drawn into a card above three. Yeah. And that card above, that card of three is, like, still in his hand. Does he even, like, I, I, I almost want to say he barely even has those. I would have probably played Bear, Bear Trap, trap yeah. here and a shoot. lot more. And shoot it doesn't matter at this point, but yeah. It, it's a slight difference in the... the value. I mean, yeah, it, it could have mattered in some, like, fringe cases. Um, but in this one, it's like, yeah, yeah checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> checkmate. checkmate. Yeah. Strife Crow's gonna go down. Uh, too admirable, not on. And admirable is gonna take the warrior. His warrior is really good as well. It's a constructed deck. Yeah, like, yeah, like he just like, drafted constructed in arena, just casually. I was like know? upstairs, like I finished drafting and he was drafting. I just heard yelling downstairs the entire time, like, oh my god, so good. Yeah. The hunter's not that. too bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the hunter is good. I feel like purple got shafted on the paladin, but he mid picked a lot. Like when he played, yeah, Mud. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, your deck building was okay, but the the, the games themselves I didn't pan yeah, out, out at all, yeah. at all. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. I like the Magnetor <laughs> Alpha. <laughs> like that card is funny because on one end it's stupidly bad for a thousand reasons, but on the other is the type of card that when you're already ahead. The opponent, like, you play this and they're literally freaking out. Because yeah. they don't have the option of flood, flood, the, flood board. the board. Yeah. They can't do it. And they can't play one big dude because it trades with it. So, like, no matter what you do, it's like a, a it's complete true. deterrent to doing anything. I don't know. I want to see a world where people play that with charge. What would you What would you keep as admirable as the warrior? I throw everything but slam. I would probably keep the jungle panther. I don't know, man. Paladin doesn't really let you do much with a 4-2. That is true. Yeah, like, you, he's yeah, got an armor smith, he's got a war axe, right? <laughs> like, he has double war axe, I think. Dude, just throw everything, then. Like, <laughs> you throw everything, in that case. Oh, man. He's got a crazy deck. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, how's your life been, dog? Like, we haven't really talked too much about, you know, My your life. general... That's good. Life, you know, I've uh, just been uh, streaming. I graduated, like, three or four months ago, and, you know, just living the Hearthstone life. 
Okay, so if the game, like if the servers went down tomorrow, what what does your graduation let you do? Uh, go to grad school and yeah. So you, you graduated more. to go graduate more? Yeah, it's okay. it's a really exciting life. I know. That's uh, that sounds. <laughs> uh, I mean, welcome to the Western world, right? Uh, you either grind the ladder or you grind, <laughs> grind money. School. Yeah. Grinding knowledge isn't bad. It's not too bad. Three mana. Two cards. I mean, it's pretty good, right? The, uh, Ancient the, Watcher. I mean, you're laughing now, Ancient Watcher, but just wait for Cog Hammer to come out. Strife Crow has it. That card was uh, the third keeper of Alderman, but right. yeah, he got punished. Oh, the use! <sighs> it sucks, Man. but you kind of have, you have to. to right? I mean, I actually don't mind just playing the Seal of Champions, because look at that, you still trade. The thing is, if Strife Crow's been paying attention to what Admirable's been playing, he knows he runs Double Slam, right? Yeah. So, Seal would be terrible here. Does he have that buy? I don't think so, right? Oh so God, it's yeah. basically ooze and then go face. If there's a trade that happens on your ooze with the panther, you still get the seal of champions uh, as a follow up, or even hero power plus lands carry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I think you're right. It's still okay. He's thinking of a curve play, but you don't really need to curve out at this point. Well, I guess he. I guess he disagrees. I mean, it is a damage if the opponent has to use. Like if he uses the weapon again, right? And slams. It locks out his turn four. Yeah, and he um, might not have a two drop to follow it up with. Right. And if the weapon's not used because whatever, then the ooze becomes useful again. And you might get a full, you know, full charge war axe. I don't know, it's kind of sketchy though, because like, when are you ever going to get ooze value again? I mean, you know he has one other weapon, but are you really going to, like, is the game going to last? Is, yeah, I was going to say, like, is it ever going to last long enough for that to matter? Um, no, that's, that's that is awkward. like, that is basically Ancient Watcher ooze, but that, uh, actually Ancient Watcher hero power, right? Uh... Maybe just Lance Carrier, Hero Power, your Lance. Your sure. dude. Your you dude, and then force the, yeah. force the trade. Admirable's got a pretty good follow up, honestly. Like, the, between the bashes and the, the Kraken plus 7 drop that doesn't get dealt with. His deck just looks like he couldn't afford the legendaries. But he's still <laughs> playing Control Warrior. Like, <laughs> he's just some, like, rank 15 plus, uh, like, half the chat, and then he's yeah. just like. Oh, you know, I don't have, you know, what, what's a good replacement for uh, Dr. Boom? Obsidian Destroyer. It makes one ones. It's perfect. Correct. <laughs> That's true, though. You're right. It looks like a budget control. Oh, wow. Great draw there by Strife Crow. Yeah, good. He knows how to play the game. There's just so much value in uh, Admirable's hands. But, uh... I mean, it could, like, it, it, Strife Crow... The thing is, like... Has a keeper. Yeah, if, if it ever gets to, like, a point where it's, like, kind of late game... Then Strife Crow's gonna win just on hero power. Like this is a really good play there by Strife Crow, because he recognizes I've seen a war axe, I've seen a slam. Like, does he really? Is he really gonna have the second bash, second slam, or second war axe? Yeah. I'd say it's likely he's got one of the three. The um, but if he does, then he's not playing on curve, and you still get to play later on. Like, very very few uh, lands of play that Admirable can take you. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Don't feel good. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Ish. Yeah. I mean, it's that or you play the Dark Skill. Dark Skill so is better. Skill yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. It's because he can't get a very good trade. Although I mean, bash. the upside is like, if you play the 7-6 and it trades... Oh man, he's just going to smork. I like this play a lot. That card is really annoying to deal with in Arena. Well, we saw earlier like a, a big blade flurry that could have been good, but never yeah. never was. <laughs> <I don't laughs> that never was. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That well, then another Tron, speaking of annoying in Arena. That is uh, true. We just kind of nailed the right what counterpart. Do you, how do you win? Do you just like slam Wargolem and pray? I think you play Anoyotron and the Venture Co. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Right? Like, he's, he's technically, well. like, if you're able somehow uh, to get through that Scarab afterwards. Man, that, that card's really good. Jeez. What is? The, um, the 7 7. Yeah, that, that card is insane. Well, you know, we were all complaining. Uh, before Leave Explorers and Warriors were unplayable in Arena. Right now, they're actually really good. Yeah, they are. Red card and like all the weapons. Yeah, all the weapons. Jeez. This fierce monkey. Like you've actually a bash. Needs, you've got decent cards. Doctor Boom. Whenever you have that guy. Yeah. Like uh, free wisps on your war <laughs> golem. <laughs> yeah, they have Tom, man. Oh, it's like target target wisp. Target wisp. Well, how do you feel about the new seven drop wisp card? <laughs> yeah, that card uh, looks unleashed. real good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't seem convinced. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you don't. You don't like the seven mana plus two plus to do everything. It's like uh, can you imagine it's like the everything world? but terrible. <laughs> like, can you imagine a world where like the Which... druid plays hobgoblins and then instead of getting a hobgoblin in the game, he just plays wisp, wisp, tiny fin, tiny fin, and then plays this. That's true. Yeah, but like seven mana. 
whenever whenever a savage war does like the same thing because you whenever you play Montana, it doesn't games, anymore that's true well we don't know that but, uh, but of course it does well if it does i'm out <laughs> <laughs> i'm out of this blizzard you you've done it uh, you've convinced me man that yeah that obsidian is just like crushing him if he had like a muster or something to yeah. like our lights justice it would be fine but consec even there's just anything you're like anything the stall, but look at that! Like he's got the Kraken, he's got the Bash, he's got Guys, the Corcrons. That is insane. I think Admirable is cheating, <laughs> and it's funny. You th like we we talk about this because everybody, literally everyone, drafted Paladin, Mage, Rogue. Admirable said, "You know what? Screw this! I'm going yeah, to Warrior right. Hunter." He did get super lucky on the draft side, um, but I mean those. I mean Warrior's getting as well. Yeah, so. yeah. So I mean it was a good a good plan. I mean, Just that's the it. thing though. I feel like with like arena tournaments. One person's always going to get crushed because, like, a lot of it comes down to the draft. Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes it's decided before you play. And when yeah, you've exactly. got this Kamaz rule of just not actually being able to pick what you want, um, you know, in the middle. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, we've seen a few people skip really, like, we saw a Coda Rider skip by somebody. Oh, um, uh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, Trump, yeah, Trump picked some yeah. janky epic next to it instead of it. Um, but I think uh, Admirable and Striker actually have the same amount of points because Admirable yeah. bought uh, the points. So. He got, like, Admiral bought his way to an advantage oh. that cost him 1,000, and now Strifecore's gonna have to go fight off against the winner of the loser's round. Oh, wait, um, Strifecore didn't win it yet. How's no. This? Oh, he has to, okay. He has to beat the loser's... That was the winner's final, not the grand's final. Okay. Right, okay, it's yeah, not yeah, quite yeah. over. Yeah, Admiral didn't win 5,000 yet, then. He could win 4,000. Yeah, he could yeah, win 4K okay, okay. if he ends up being knocked out, but I mean, with the decks he's got... Yeah, that makes sense. All it's right. gonna take a lot. Um, Shocky, I think, is... He beat you, right? Yeah, he crushed me. So oh Shocky crushed you. Yeah. He's gonna be up against Trump then. He just like kicked me. In in while the while I was down. In yeah. in the balls. You can <laughs> just say while it. I was down. I can say okay. it. Okay, you can, can say, say it. It's not it's not a bad word. Like balls mean many things, um, uh, many of which are nice. You can juggle, <laughs> right? Uh, no. Yeah, you can juggle some balls. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so we know the dog likes juggling balls, but um, we still have to take a break. That was a really quick series. A little disappointed because I kind of yeah, I was I was like I was yeah, we can play we can play some you know. Like, knows, maybe I'll come back on the casting. I mean, you know, we could just tell them to to, to just leave you here. That's true. Lock you up until I'm through. done, and then we're done making like ball jokes. But yeah, otherwise it's gonna have to be a break. Should be a short break, honestly, with this game. Yeah, not not too long. I don't think. Yeah, I hope not. Um, the days has gone long. Yeah. The arena tournament has taken a while. And I came not for Hearthstone, but to hang out. And, like, it's, it's just Hearthstone. <laughs> I yeah, can't do this it's anymore. Okay. The, arena, the arena will be over soon. And we can celebrate in the uh, possible Jep Arena or something. That's going to be fun. Yeah. You have no idea what's coming. I do. Oh my it's, great. Okay. it's great. It's great. Everybody's right. gonna get bean boozled. That being said, guys, we'll take a short break. <laughs> Thanks to Fnatic, of course, and Twitch, on which we're streaming this. Um, I, you probably already know that, but we're streaming on Twitch. So thanks to them. And yeah, stay tuned.